The official creditor committee confirmed its in-principle agreement on speci specific financing terms to restructure Sri Lanka's debt in line with the parameters set by the International Monetary Fund. This development comes one and a half months after China agreed in principle to restructure 4.2 billion US dollars of debt. The Ministry of Finance stated that the agreement in principle covers approximately 5.9 billion US dollars of outstanding public debt and consists of a mix of long-term maturity extension and reduction in interest rates. According to the Paris Club, this agreement will allow the IMF staff to present to the IMF Executive Board the first review of Sri Lanka's external funding facility arrangement and pave the way for approval of the second disbursement under the arrangement. In April of 2023, 17 countries formally formed an official creditor committee co-chaired by India, Japan and France as chair of the Paris Club to respond to the Sri Lankan authorities' request for debt treatment. In addition to Paris Club members, the committee includes India and Hungary. According to the Paris Club, the official creditor committee since its establishment engaged extensively with Sri Lankan authorities, the IMF, the World Bank, as well as China and Sri Lanka's private creditors. In a statement today, the Paris Club said that the official creditor committee and Sri Lanka agreed on the main parameters of a debt treatment consistent with those of the extended fund facility arrangement between Sri Lanka and the IMF. The Paris Club said that this agreement would allow the IMF staff to present the IMF Executive Board the first review of Sri Lanka's EFF arrangement and pave the way for approval of the second disbursement under the arrangement. According to the Ministry of Finance, the agreement in principle covers approximately 5.9 billion US dollars of outstanding public debt and consists of a mix of long-term maturity extension and reduction in interest rates. The Paris Club said that the official creditor committee stands ready and awaits the formalizing of the agreement in the coming weeks in a memorandum of understanding with Sri Lankan authorities. The OCC said that they expect other bilateral creditors to consent by sharing transparently the information necessary for them to evaluate the comparability of treatment regarding their own bilateral agreement. The official creditor committee also expects that Sri Lankan authorities will continue to engage with their private creditors to expeditiously search for an agreement on terms at least as favorable as the terms offered by them. Following the agreement with the official creditor committee on debt treatment, State Minister of Finance Shahan Seymasinghe said that this agreement is another important indicator of the continued cooperation and support of the global community in Sri Lanka's economic recovery. In an next message, the minister stated that this is a very significant milestone and added that a similar agreement in principle was provided earlier by the China Exim Bank. He stated that both agreements confirm that all official creditors have agreed to restructure Sri Lanka's debt, which is a major step in the resolution of Sri Lanka's economic crisis. Seema Singer added that the official creditor committee's agreement now paves the way for the IMF board to consider the first review of Sri Lanka's EFF program and unlock the next tranche of IMF funding expected in December, which in turn would enable the World Bank and Asian Development Bank to provide further financing. Seema Singer highlighted that Sri Lanka remains committed to the implementation of the comprehensive reform program that will restore macroeconomic stability and place the country on a path of sustainable and inclusive economic growth. He stated that subsequently Sri Lanka through its financial advisors will continue to engage with its external private sector creditors in order to reach a similar agreement in principle.